In this video, we'll install, configure, and demonstrate printing with the iOS OS X printing module. First, we'll modify our original Uniprint Infinity installation by adding the iOS OS X printing module. Next, we'll convert Uniprint gateway printers into Apple compatible printers so that they mimic native Apple printing behavior. Then, we'll open an app on the iPad and print to one of those converted gateway printers. Next, we'll demonstrate how iOS OS X printing can be easily integrated into our secure print solution by configuring the Uniprint connector. The Uniprint connector is required to print to the Uniprint VPQ and can be downloaded for free from the iTunes App Store. We'll then print from our iPad to the Uniprint VPQ. Finally, we'll show you how to release the document using the Uniprint VPad. To get started with the installation, let's go to the print server. Since we'll be modifying this Uniprint Infinity installation, close the Uniprint Management Console. Next, open the control panel. Click Programs and Features. Click to select Uniprint Infinity. And then click Change. The installation wizard will launch. Click Next to continue. Ensure that Modify is selected and then click Next. Expand Print Server. And then enable iOS OS X Printing Module. In order to use iOS OS X printing with SecurePrint, we need to also install a couple of other components. If you don't plan on using SecurePrint, simply click Next. Let's scroll down a bit. First, we need to install the Uniprint VPQ on this print server. Enable SecurePrint server. Next, enable the auxiliary server. And then click Next. Here we get a couple of notices. The first is about the secure print data server. This warning can be ignored since the data server was already installed on a bridge when we initially installed secure print server on there. The second is just notifying us that the Bonjour service is being installed. Click install. Click finish to complete the installation. Close programs and features. In order to convert gateway printers into Apple compatible printers, we need to publish them using the iOS and OS X printer publisher. Click Start. Click the down arrow to go to Apps. Scroll across and locate iOS and OS X printer publisher. Right click iOS and OS X printer publisher. Select either Pin to Start or Pin to Taskbar, depending on how you like to work. We prefer the Taskbar, so select Pin to Taskbar. Let's go back to the desktop. Click the up arrow to go back to start. Click the desktop tile. Open the iOS and OS X printer publisher. Click Next. To convert all of the gateway printers, select Check All. This will make all of these printers visible to a connected iDevice or MacBook. But we only want to make a couple of printers available for printing. Clear Check All. Since we're going to demonstrate secure print, select Uniprint VPQ. Select the Lexmark T520 and also the Kyocera KM3050KX printer. Click Next. Ensure that three printers will be converted and then click Finish. Now let's bring up our iPad and open Adobe Acrobat. One important point to note is that not all apps will allow you to print. Adobe Acrobat opens the last document viewed, which is our sample PDF document. To print it, tap the share icon. Tap Print Document. Select an Apple compatible gateway printer. Let's select the Kyocera printer that we just converted. Tap to select it. And then tap Print. And the document is sent to the Kyocera to be printed. In order to print to the Uniprint VPQ, you first need to configure the Uniprint connector. Tap the Home button. The Uniprint connector is only required if you want to print to the Uniprint VPQ or Virtual Print Queue, and it can be downloaded from the iTunes App Store. So if you just want to print to Apple compatible gateway printers, you don't need to download this app. Before printing to the Uniprint VPQ, the Uniprint connector first needs to be configured. Tap the Uniprint connector. Similar to the Uniprint VPad, the Uniprint connector needs to know which print server to connect to. On the print server, Open the Uniprint Management Console.
take note of the print server host name and IP address, and then go back to the iPad. In the Uniprint connector, tap Settings. The Uniprint connector is currently connected to the wrong print server. To correct this, turn Auto Discovery off, and then change the IP address to the correct print server's IP address. Tap Done. Now we need to associate all print jobs sent from this iPad to a network user. Tap Get Secure Code. Enter your domain username. Enter the domain name, which in our case is My Company. and then enter your password. Tap Done. If your domain credentials are correct, you will get a unique secure code. Tap Copy. Tap the Home button. And let's go back to Adobe Acrobat to print. Tap the Share icon. Tap Print Document. Select the Uniprint VPQ, but let's make sure that this Uniprint VPQ is the one associated with our print server. The print server name is shown underneath the printer name. Select Uniprint VPQ from PrintWin 2012R2. Tap Print. Tap and hold to paste in the secure code. Tap Paste. Enter in a password to be used to release this print job from the VPAD. For demonstration purposes, we'll enter in 1234. This is your secure print password. Tap OK and the print job will be sent to the secure print server for holding. Now let's proceed to the Uniprint VPAD, or in our case the secure print emulator, to release the print job to the physical printer. Enter in your domain username. Click your username from the list. Select the document to be printed. And then click Print. Enter your secure print password. So we'll enter in 1234. Click OK. Click to select a printer. Here you can change printer properties such as number of copies by clicking Settings. We're OK with these printer properties, so click Cancel. You can also apply a printer profile by clicking Profile. Since this is a single page document, we don't need to print double sided. Click Cancel. Click Print. And the print job will be sent to the Lexmark printer. The print job is also removed from the Current Jobs tab and can be found in the Printed Jobs tab. Should you need to print this document again, you can do so from the Printed Jobs tab. You will, however, be required to enter in the correct secure print password. Thank you for watching this short video on iOS OS X printing. If you would like to print from Android and Chromebooks, then check out our video on email to print. Email to print can also be used to print from Apple devices as well as from Android and Windows devices. For more information on Uniprint Infinity, visit our website at www.uniprint.net. Or if you're testing Uniprint Infinity and require help, contact our friendly support staff at support at uniprint.net.